Now this is an example of a great police station from Lego. 7744 Police Headquarters. Uh, this was released in 2008. And this was actually a Christmas present, I believe, for my wife. Uh, I think before we were married. Um, but first, let's let's take a look at the box here. Now, look at this. We've got the flap. We've got a flap. It's not like it was in the 90s, though, where you could see inside. But just a lot of different uh, pictures of the set's various features. Uh, and a great uh, picture right there, if you can see it. This box is pretty big, too. Um, unfortunately, a little bit of moisture damage. Actually, no, there's no moisture damage on this one. It's just been, uh, been compressed a little bit just because it's been stacked. So, let's see. In the back, it's got a bunch of pictures, too. Um, but this was a great value. I think it was... I want to say it was $89.99 and 953 pieces. And if you look at it, I'm going to turn the box like this since this one's a little bit bigger. Actually, I'll put the box down here. Um, if you look at it, it's kind of got a little bit of a gritty design, kind of like the 90s sets. But I like it. It's solid. It's got, it looks big. It displays well. And, um, you know, of course, Lego comes out with new police stations almost every year. And since this one, they've kind of gotten progressively smaller um, and have charged actually more money for them. Uh, so this one was a really good deal, and I have had no need to get another police station since. Um, this one is interesting because... So it's got two jail cells right here. And if you want to get into them, you can lift those levers and these pieces come out right here. And if you look in there, it's even got a toilet. They even put a they put a toilet in there. That's hilarious, the Lego toilet. Next thing you know, we'll have Lego plumbing. So yeah, so there's two of those. They both pop out like that. Um, there's a little control room up here with a swivel chair. Very nice. And you know now we're back to the blue, the uh, light blue windows, which has been the regular deal on these sets. Um, just a few more meeting rooms. But if you look at the details and what they, they do here, it's better than that one that I did yesterday with the green windows. There's what, a coffee maker here, a uh, water cooler. Here's a desk, but the, but the computer actually, you know, it's contoured a lot better. Um, and then if we look at the front here, you've got the gates that lift up and down. We've got vehicles that actually look like vehicles. We have wheel well pieces. Um, and these, I don't think these open. So in order to get into this, you just have to pop off the top like that. These are really dusty too. It's been sitting on the shelf for a while. And then, you know, once the dust hits and you wipe it away, it scratches everything. So they're not brand new anymore. It's, it's funny how you don't play with these things and then the pieces still get hazy on you. You know, you have to, man, my nose, it's just, I know I mentioned this in another video, but I have to go back there, and the reason it bothers my allergies is because there's old, you know, uh, ceiling insulation, you know, cellulose uh, back there, and of course it's old and dirty, so it kind of gets in your face just a little bit. Um, it's not hazardous, though. It's basically just... Uh, uh, shredded up paper on a fine scale. But anyway, uh, then here's a van for the dog, the Lego dog. And then there's the motorcycle, a thousand times better than the motorcycle in the other set. Uh, we get seven minifigures, and they're all basically just generic uh, police figures. Um, got a stairway here with a door. Um... Let's see what else. This comes open. I'm not sure why. Oh, no. It doesn't have to open. That's just how they did the angle on the 
on the windows for the skylight. Uh, spotlights here, camera, and uh, yeah, so this is this is an excellent set. I've had no reason to buy any of the previous recent police stations. Um, I think they've had two or three since this. This came out in 2008. Uh, I forget, I don't know when they retired it, probably a year or two later. Maybe even less than that. Maybe this only had one year. Um, but, yeah. So, i um not sure what else to say about this other than it's great. Um, if you can find it, you can probably find it on eBay. I think I, it seemed like new. It wasn't even very much. It was like a hundred and maybe a hundred and seventy. Now, of course, that's probably not what people are asking for it. I mean, you'll have to find somebody who's actually doing it on an auction instead of, you know, buy it now. I think a lot of sets they're trying to do, uh, you know, buy it now just so, you know, they don't have to deal with low bidding. So anyway, great set. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another one.